this is android 16 with latest material 3 expressive theme running on windows computer in this video i will show you how to install and run android 16 with play store on any windows pc or laptop running windows 11 or windows 10. now this indeed turns your pc into an android device now without further ado let's get this video started The first things first, the only prerequisites of this video, you need a PC or laptop running Windows 11 or Windows 10, a relatively fast processor and at least 8GB of RAM for smoother performance. Now open your favorite web browser, go to this link and download Android Studio. Now once the download is complete, double click on the executable file and install it. Now follow the on-screen instructions to install Android Studio. Now this is the default location where the Android Studio is going to be installed. You can change the path if you want to, then click on next. Now finish the installation and open Android Studio. On the welcome screen, choose next, then use the standard install type and install the SDK components. Now make sure you have a faster internet connection to download the required tools and components. Once it's done, click on finish and you will be presented with this screen. Now, let me go ahead and switch to light theme for Android Studio. It's time to install Android 16 SDK. To do so, click more actions and choose SDK manager. Now from here, install the latest Android SDK. I'm going with API level 36, which corresponds to Android 16. You can also install the Android 16 preview, which comes with the latest Material 3 expressive theme. I will check the first two options and click OK. This will take a few minutes to download. Once complete, click Finish. Now at this point, we have set up the Android 16 SDK and all essential components. Next, head over to Android Studio settings and search for heap and make sure it's set to at least 1 GB. Now this doesn't improve the emulator performance, but still it's recommended. Now let's create Android 16 virtual device, click more actions and choose virtual device manager. If you want pixel like experience, choose the phone from the list Although Android Studio supports a desktop edition, but it cannot virtualize Android 16 desktop. So let's go with a tablet and select Pixel Tablet. Click Next. Then go ahead and set a name for your device. Next, choose the system image. If you want a stable Android 16 experience, select the stable option. If you like the latest Material 3 Expressive theme, select the Preview option. Under Additional Settings, increase the internal storage. I'm going to allocate 64 GB since I have a plenty of free space. For performance settings, allocate CPU cores. If your computer has multiple CPU cores, Assigning half of them makes the emulator run much faster. In my case, my computer is having six physical cores, so I'm going to allocate four. If you have a dedicated GPU like Nvidia or AMD, enable GPU acceleration for smoother performance. 
in my case i have nvidia rtx 3050 so i'm going to keep this option to automatic which uses the gpu you can also set it to hardware explicitly for ram i'm going to allocate 8 gb if your system has only 8 gigs of total ram set the heap size to 512 megabytes or higher but since i have 24 gigabytes of ram i'm going to use 1 gb for heap now for the application binary interface select optimal then click finish it may ask you to download an emulator image file if so go ahead and download it now you are back at the device manager just go ahead and select the virtual device then click the play button to start android 16 Now wait for a few minutes to boot. Once launched, you will get a Pixel tablet-like experience right on your PC. On the right side, you will find emulator controls for navigation, such as back, home, and recent apps. Now as you can see, the emulator runs very smoothly on my system. The UI feels very fast, but thanks to GPU acceleration, the Play Store works perfectly. Now just go ahead and log in with your Google account and download apps or games. I tested some games like Subway Surfers and Fruit Ninja and they work flawlessly. However, GPU intensive games like Asphalt Legends struggled a lot. Apart from heavy games, lighter apps and games run very smoothly. Now to shut down Android 16, press the power button and after a few seconds, press X button from the window palette. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install and run Android 16 on Windows PC or laptop. Let me know what do you think about this in the comments section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryle. I will see you in the next one.